down a little bit more detail about what's going down, what's going on. Um, but yeah. This is the shit, y'all. y'all y'all what's up welcome to today's vlog welcome to this uh i guess you could say this long overdue part two of me going can y'all guess where i'm going y'all already know where i'm going i'm headed to texas once again um i just got to my gate my flight doesn't leave until 2 30 so i have about an hour before we depart so i'm probably gonna go get some food and just you know chill until it's time to go. But if y'all watch my last vlog, then you know that I felt it deep in my heart that God was calling me to move to Texas and that was my promised land. And he paved the way for me to get there, y'all. When I came back, I applied for an apartment and everything and I got approved, but I was disobedient. And you know, some things were sent my way and I got distracted and sidebarred and I ended up not going. And since then, I have like regretted that decision. I'm not even gonna lie because I just knew that I wasn't supposed to be here still in New York and there wasn't provision being provided for me here because God's divine authority left here and was waiting for me to arrive in Texas and I didn't go. But God is so good because even in those few months, cause I was supposed to move um, in May and it is about, it's September 29th, so basically November, and you know things didn't work out the way they were supposed to because of my own disobedience and you know i kind of walked away from god for a little bit uh, i was still seeking him but i wasn't in as close of a relationship that i have now uh, and i really do still feel like god is calling me to go to texas and he is providing the pathway for me to get there so he blessed me with a free ticket to a two-day conference uh yes if y'all watched the last vlog you know that i also went to a two-day conference back in march and there's another one going on um it's a whole different hostess that's hosting it and god blessed me with a free ticket to go and the tickets were like two three hundred dollars so that's how you know it's god's will for me to go and i just want to thank him so much uh so we're going there it's supposed to be starting saturday and sunday so today's friday and i'm going to be landing there around like five o'clock and then I'm going to be leaving Monday night. So I'm going to be there for three and a half, or you could say four days. Uh, I'm going to take you guys along with me. And I'm super excited. So outside of the conference, I really don't have like a crazy itinerary. I'm kind of just going to go with the flow like I did last time. Um, and I'm probably going to go look at like one spot again. And then I'm going to just kind of do some touring sightseeing because I know for the conference, they have like a wellness moment tomorrow morning. Um, and then they also have like a happy hour later in the night. And then the actual conference is going to be on Sunday uh, where they're going to have like uh, celebrity speakers, a pitch competition and like brunch and all that type of stuff. And they're having like a celebrity guest speaker, which is going to be Kiki Palmer. So I'm like, OK, 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 it's lit. Uh, so it really should be a... A good time i'm trusting that it's going to be a really good time and i'm trusting that god is going to provide provision and he is going to show up and show out on my behalf so come along for this antics i hope you guys enjoy and comment down below if you're coming from my last vlog this is what we're working with right now i'm just sitting waiting for I fly. Ooh, my hand in the camera. While we're sitting here, let's get into this style, okay? I told y'all. Um, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I also got my hair done for free. This is how you know God is just providing ridiculous provision for me because I was about to go pay like almost $120, $150 just for some braids and God showed out and he like dropped it in my lap at the last minute where I was able to go and get my hair done for free and I don't know about y'all, but I think it's giving like and I don't know if I'm the only one, but like when I first get my hair done, I normally don't like it. I just think like, it just, I just need like a day for it to like grow on me. And then like by like the next day or like two days later, I love it. So like when I got it done yesterday, I was so thankful that I got my hair done because baby, it was free. But 
I didn't really like it because that's just normally how I am. But then like I slept on it, woke up this morning, did my little makeup, and I like it. I think it's soothing. It's kind of bad in here, but this is the car that I got that I run to. This is little Kia, it's blue, it looks beautiful. Um, this is what the inside is looking like. This is the back. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're working with. So, this might actually be my next car because I just love how this looks. And I drove a Kia before, and I just love how they drive, they drive so smooth, but yeah. Let's do the trip. Oh, so we're here at the hotel. I took my cardigan off because it's hot here in Texas. It's like 100 degrees. So we're here at the hotel. This is actually the same hotel that I stayed at the in my last vlog. So I'm not even really gonna do a whole run through about it. Like maybe I'll just put a little clip of like a quick walkthrough of the room, but nothing crazy. Here at the hotel i'm probably about to go get me some raisin canes i've never had it before it's something i always wanted to try it's just like chicken and fries so i'm gonna go get that and i'm gonna come back to the hotel and i'm gonna just kind of chill for the night because it's been a really long day honestly with just a delay and stuff like that so i'm gonna just go get some food come back and chill and prepare myself for tomorrow um because i did want to go like to a sit down restaurant because you know it's friday night but uh eh. I'm more so going to just go get some food and spend some time with God in prayer and yeah. So I went to Raising Cane's like I said. I have always wanted to try this. It's like a fast food spot that I've always like heard of that's predominantly in the south that I've never tried. So I'm going to see what it's about and then I got like a drink from them as well. It's just chicken fingers and fries but apparently they're really good so we're going to see how it tastes. And listen, y'all, don't come for me. Okay, I know I'm a trainer, baby, but when I'm on vacay, I eat nice. All right, life is all about balance. Welcome to today's vlog, y'all. Listen, it is day two, my official first day here. So we are dressed and ready to go. Um, it's 8.42. Oh my God, I gotta hurry up and go. Because uh, I have to go check into the event first. Because uh, I didn't get the check-in yesterday for early check-in. So I have to check in and then um, go to the actual space to do what where they're going to do the wellness moment. So it's basically going to do like a stretch slash yoga session. And they're going to have like a guest speaker and then like a little networking moment. And then later on today is going to be like the happy hour and stuff. So I'm going to take you guys along and keep you updated in the process. Hopefully I take some time to get some cute pictures because last time around when I went, like I didn't really get like cute full bodies. Like I got selfies, but you know, how much some full bodies. So yeah. But let me show you guys what we're working with in terms of the fit. 
So in terms of, let me close this. So in terms of a fit, this is what we're working with. I'm feeling it, it's cute, it's giving. Um, it's giving really much Barbie, it's giving pink, bright. So I'm gonna be like a walking highlighter. Um, but I like it, and then it's got like these sneakers on. I'm gonna throw a fanny pack on. And I also am gonna bring like a bigger duffel bag because so I can hold a towel and stuff. But this is what it's giving. And I took my hair out of the bun just for the sake of pictures, but I am gonna put it back in the bun once I'm done taking pictures. So yeah. So this is the duffel bag that I'm gonna bring. It just has like my tripod in there, the fanny pack. And then like some little miscellaneous stuff and i'm gonna throw a towel in there and then yeah we're gonna be good to go this is the view that we're working with You're showing up the community is going to come and you know you may start with one two or three it may not be a whole lot but pour into those one two or three people because they are gonna be they're gonna be your your big dogs with you along the way they're gonna they're gonna stand up for you even I don't know if you guys follow um, fearless fun they went through the whole discrimination thing this past week but they had a big win because they have a community behind them and it's important you know if you have that community behind you you can get through anything and that's why community is so important believe in you because you'll be surprised like miss phil says like even just your friends or your colleagues right so it doesn't have to be friends because sometimes friend, close friends are a little bit harder to get money from but just people that you can talk to once or twice someone that you go to the gym with i have this idea i'm looking for investors i'm, I'm starting my investments at five thousand dollars I'll give you back that investment within a year. What do you think about it, right? I think it's just putting out those little seeds to see what comes back to you. And, and also, lastly, I'm gonna say, don't sleep on grants. You guys, like, I, you guys that are in the audience right now that are new business owners, it's so much information out there. I'm 12 years in. I just won my first grant this year for the bakery. I just got it applied. So imagine that all the reels and the TikToks about grants that you can apply for. And y'all got ChatGPT. You got all these other platforms. Back in the day, I had to think of copy. I'm like, what am I supposed to say? How am I supposed to impress these people with my words? Now you can go and ChatGPT, tap in five words, and it give you all the copy for the so What's up, y'all? So just finished the wellness event. Um, I did get there a little bit late, but it was from nine to 11 so basically there was like a yoga session on a lawn and then they had like a moment to kind of recenter yourself and your thoughts so it was really just taking time for mindfulness and then well i need some lip gloss my lips are dry um and then they had some guest speakers kind of just talk about like you know how to find funding for your business um in terms of like how to find investors um, how to kind of just navigate your journey as an entrepreneur if you're like also working like a nine to five as well so they were kind of just dropping a lot of gems so the session was done i met a few great people so i'm gonna try to see if i can enter some pictures that i took now i'm about to go get some food and i'm gonna walk around a little bit and just do a little bit more just exploring and then later tonight, well, later this evening, around five o'clock, there's going to be a happy hour. So the happy hour is from five to seven. Basically, we're going to go back. It's going to be in this rooftop and we're kind of going to take time to connect and network and have some drinks. So I think it's going to be a really, really good time. Uh, but I just need to eat because your girl is hungry. And, you know, my monthly decided to come at the most convenient time, y'all. So... <laughs>
like in this vlog you're just seeing a lot of me a lot of face but i'm sitting here it's a really beautiful view and again i just still keep getting that feeling that i'm supposed to be here i am and i don't know how god is gonna do it i don't know how god is gonna pave the way this time around but I am trusting and believing that he is going to make a way. He is going to do what needs to get done. So, we're just going to wait and see. <laughs> this is what we're working with. Yeah. This Kia K5, baby. I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna be my next car. I'm speaking it into existence. This color and everything. Y'all, I'm back. Look at me running late as per usual. So I'm going to the happy hour. It's already at five. It is currently 5.30. I really need to work on my timing. But I am wearing just a dress with these earrings. This is what it's giving and these shoes. Yeah, I need to get to do my toenails. So if anybody look at my toes and they look at that it's not done, mind your business. But yeah, let me go show y'all what the fit looks like and then let's get out of here. So this is what's given for the fit. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Calm, calm, I'm simple, so. We're out of here. And she never met me ever again too. My God, she don't need me. Why you just don't believe me? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I got problems. See, I'm still in bed. I have one eyelash on. Uh, but today's Sunday. And I'm about to go get ready. So, as I told y'all earlier, my cycle came. So, it's just been so hard for me to get up. And I've just been in so much pain. So, I was like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I just want to, like, sleep in the hotel the whole day. But it's like, no, I came here for a reason, so we're going to go anyway. And I'm not going to let Mother Nature get in the way. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm finished getting dressed. All right, y'all. So, I am dressed. It is day number three. It's Sunday. Uh, so today is the like actual actual conference where they're gonna have like a whole bunch of guest speakers a pitch competition and the whole nine so i'm wearing this little pantsuit and yeah like y'all i really did not want to get up this morning but i'm here uh our face is beat you know like a little light beat just some concealer and some like stuff like that we're about to get headed going about to grab some breakfast real quick and then i'm gonna head to the spot and then i'm just you know show y'all around when i get there so, let me put this down because I'm struggling. This is today's fit. It really is nothing crazy. It's just a pantsuit. I was going to wear heels, but we're going to be outside. So sandals. Yeah. So this is today's look. I think it's cute. I think it's giving. I don't know. It's just these little short set. Um, this bodysuit, and yeah. Y'all tell me why I'm a whole hour and 30 minutes late. And you know, I would have been here a little bit earlier, but I went to stop and get a breakfast sandwich. And it took them 30 minutes to make my sandwich because apparently everybody that was there, it was their first day working at this place. So it was moving mad slow. And they messed up my order and everything. But I'm here and I'm still eating my little sandwich. I still ate my little sandwich. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the event, although I'm fashionably late. Let you guys grab some, some food, something to drink, do a little 
business cards, and payments at Capital One. Dana has over 20 years of experience. Yes, good. our judges look fabulous. These are our judges. She look good, I ain't gonna lie. Package, consumer package good brand that's playing in the frozen dessert industry, an industry that's set to hit 176 billion by 2025 with an impressive annual growth rate of 5.4%. We target health conscious male and female consumers between the ages of 18 to 55. Why? Because we all struggle to eat healthier. Let's be honest, eating junk food is delicious and comforting. People love to eat food that tastes good, but they need to eat food that's nutritious. And most people find themselves in a constant battle between eating what tastes good and what's actually good for you. I know this firsthand. At the age of 22, after a routine doctor's visit, I was diagnosed with a uterine fibroid that, had, that required surgery, a surgery that had some real life implications. So, I started trying to eat better, I changed my diet, but as a big sweet tooth, I quickly learned healthy met taste suffered, and I really struggled with dessert. So right here in Dallas, Texas, in my kitchen, I started trying to recreate my favorite treats so that they were still delicious, but now nutritionally sound. The result, sweet kiwi. 240,000 of those happening in the home. The person most likely to respond to that emergency will be you. It has been proven that CPR provided immediately after cardiac arrest could double or even triple a victim's chances of survival. But 80% of Americans are reluctant to perform CPR. The person you bought the tickets for, Kiki Palmer is here. So, so excited to have a conversation on reinventing yourself and constantly making a name. And listen, Kiki is in the headlines and we love to see all that she's doing. We're gonna play a quick bio video and then Kiki's gonna come to the stage. We know who Kiki is. Kiki Palmer is an Emmy Award winning actress, singer, songwriter, producer, and television host. Through social media and content creation, I was able to gain more financial freedom. And then I realized, you know, when we talk about my, my company, PTV, I realized, okay, how I've been able to get myself freedom through my own audience and feeding that audience, I want other people to be able to have access to that same platform so we all can have access to being collaborators with brands and being able to kind of level up our businesses. And so that's what Key TV was made for. To the girl or to the woman and the girl, we have some college students here from Prairie View University. Yes. Come on, academics. You know. To both, what advice would you give them on pivoting? You've pivoted to so many different areas and this new space and lane that you're in is incredible. But as an entrepreneur, you have to learn how to put on a seatbelt of pivot sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I think don't be afraid to pivot and don't be afraid to go in a direction that other people may not understand but that you, you feel is true to you. And I think for me, the main thing that I always think about when I'm deciding to put my heart into something is, is my heart in it or am I expecting a particular outcome? And when I feel like my, what I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm, I'm expecting something you know, specific or you know, amount of views or amount of money or whatever it is, then I, then I tell myself, okay, maybe this isn't what it should be. Because I'm a very strong believer that what you should do should be based in purity and what you love and how, what, what gets you excited. Because even if things don't go right or something goes wrong, it becomes easier to pivot because you're not basing it off of unrealistic things. You're not measuring it off of something unrealistic. So 
to me, it's just about rolling with the punches, following your heart, um, seeing what your audience is responding to and figuring out how to scale from that. Sometimes, you know, if you, if you make candles and bags and they like any candles, well, make more of the candles so you can go back to the drawing board and figure out how to get them on board with the bags. You know, things like that. And then even with that, right, like, we live in a society where no's take people down. I'm sure you've experienced no's your entire career. You started very young, right? You had to put on a resiliency and build up the muscle for no's. But sometimes we get a no and we crumble. We, we don't know how to bounce back from a no. What do you do when you get no's? Are you in the bed eating ice cream or are you bossing up? I mean, it depends. Usually, I mean, anytime I get a no, I'm just thinking to myself, wow, they ain't really about it then. They ain't really gonna get it. I know that's crazy. That's actually a crazy way to think, but I, I think it's something I developed younger when I would go to these auditions and I wouldn't get the part. I would literally tell myself, that movie ain't gonna do good then. You know? I know that's so crazy, but I think it's important to see yourself as the prize and somebody that's gonna bring value. Yes. And, and you know, it doesn't mean, you know, that you're bashing anything that's not with you, but hey, if they don't know where, where the gold is at, then hey, I don't know what to tell you. And that's kind of how I think about it when I get a no, is that you know what, they missed it. They, they didn't see what they had. And I'm gonna go somewhere where I am adored, appreciated, and needed. I was saying cute and pretty, and then the sun wanted to come out and be disrespectful. But let me put some headphones in so y'all can hear me. But yeah, so I the conference finished around three o'clock, and it was a really good conference, honestly, y'all. I left there and I made like one new friend. So at the conference, I actually saw like two people that I had met the last time I came to Texas there, but this time around. I met a couple of other people and got like their Instagram and stuff like that, but there was this one lovely lady, her name was Serena, kind of connected from day one of the conference and you know, we went out to eat last night and all that and then we reconnected today and you know, she was really good vibes, I loved her energy and everything like that, so I'm considering her my new friend here in Dallas, but overall the conference was great, I just love coming to these events because not only for just the networking but the inspiration that you get like once you leave these type of events like you always leave inspired you always like get something like if you leave the event getting nothing then like uh-uh baby you did something wrong but you always get some sort of motivation and it's always just nice to kind of like meet new people hear their different stories and their testimonies because then it encourages you and to let you know that like hey i'm not the only one and then it's also important to be in close proximity to people who are doing things similar like you or who are people who are like like-minded or like entrepreneurs or people that are in the same industry as you or similar industries for the most part because you just you need that community you need that environment you need that drive and connection in order to actually like fully thrive so that's something that you know i feel like i'm lacking there in new york if i don't have that community I don't have that tribe and I just feel like coming here, I would be able to find not only that community for like entrepreneurship and business, but also that community in terms of um, my tribe and like finding genuine friends and connections. I feel like I'll be able to find out here. And that's something that I've been thoroughly lacking in New York. And you know, again, it just really just makes me feel like this is again where I'm supposed to be and you know I'm, I'm here and I just love it <laughs> I just love the opportunities that is offered to black women um the resources the connection the events the areas um, so I feel like there's just so much to do and uh, I just need to be here I need to be here <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, and we're here. It is Monday, October 2nd, so we are flying out later today. My flight is for five something, so um, I'm gonna check out at the 
a hotel at 11 so i'm gonna go right now it's like 10 o'clock so i'm gonna go get some breakfast and then i'm gonna check out at the hotel at 11 and then i am going to go look at this one apartment um at 12 30 and then after i look at that apartment i'm honestly gonna just maybe grab one more thing to eat before i go to the airport because you know airport food is hella expensive um grab something to eat and then i'm gonna drop off my rental and then i'm gonna go in the airport and honestly just wait there for like the two hours until my flight and probably just do some work on my computer from there and just call it a day oh me coming on this trip like honestly the conference was really great despite me like getting late to a lot of the events but still like i had a great time and you know i made some connections and i met this wonderful person and i think like you know we connected very well so great i really just always love these opportunities because you just never know who you'll meet and you'll never know who you'll connect with and stuff like that you do know that the reason why i came here or was looking forward to coming on this trip was i felt like god was going to give me reconfirmation on whether like you know he really wants me to move here and i really still feel in my heart that god wants me to move here like there's just so much opportunity here and just not just opportunity like work-wise and business-wise but just opportunity in terms of i really feel like i'll find my soul tribe here because back in new york where i am i've really been going through this period of isolation a period of really just feeling like i don't have anybody like you know i do have like people that i know that are in new york but like we aren't really like cool anymore like i'm not really invited to anything and nobody's really clocking or checking for me so it's kind of those things where you've naturally like grown out of people and you're like no longer like friends anymore like some people like there's no bad blood some of them it's like you know things happened and you know you fell off but um i've really been feeling like i've been in a season of isolation and i'm tired of being in that isolation season because you know of course there are times where god calls you to isolation but your season of isolation isn't supposed to last forever. You're not supposed to be alone forever. There's a reason why there are people on this earth because um, community is important and that's something that I'm lacking tremendously back in New York. And I just feel like here is where my soul family is. And I have felt that even earlier this year in March when I was supposed to originally move, I was feeling that strong sense. And, you know, since then I haven't really built that community and you know it's like even when like i'll meet people it's kind of like i kind of feel like it's god kind of not stopping the connection from happening but god's kind of like you're not supposed to be here still so i'm not gonna let you you know make these connections and give you more of a reason to stay so i do feel like you know again when god's presence has left a place when god's provision has left you'll feel it because opportunities will not come up as they normally would you're gonna be unhappy sad and depressed um you know connections friendships aren't gonna thrive as they used to you may seem like you're losing a lot of people and you really just feel alone um and you just feel like things aren't moving as much as they should and you start to feel very uncomfortable in a place where you used to be comfortable or where you used to be used to and that's because that's usually god calling you to go that's god calling you to move and he's calling you to go to the next place you know what i'm saying i am gonna drop some like bible verses that just talk about You know going into the new land that god calls you to go to going into the new territory that god calls you to go because there are a lot of stories in the bible where god literally calls believers his people to leave the land that they were familiar with the land that they were born in and to go into unfamiliar territory because that's where he's going to provide for us that's where we're going to be able to thrive and i really do feel like i'm not going to be able to thrive as i want to in New York that is no longer the place that I'm supposed to be it was there for a season and for a reason and now I need to step into my next season and in order for me to do that I do need to move and I'm not gonna lie and make it seem like I'm not scared I'm not nervous I, I am and there's still a lot of things where I feel unsure about but again that's where faith comes in and that's where God will meet you on the other side of faith so 
I am praying that, you know, when I get back to New York in the next few weeks that things could get situated so that I can facilitate my transition here. And uh, I don't know what's to happen, but I am praying for a swift and graceful transition. And I will keep you guys updated on what ends up happening. And yeah. <laughs> dropped off my car it's over yonder now we are heading back until next time texas until next time